In today's video, I'm going to give you a trick for getting more people to use your product. And to illustrate this, I'm going to tell you a story. And it's about how I helped my friend Andrew sell more beer. All right, so this just happened last night. Last night, I was kind of at the office late and I saw this Facebook post. This is from my friends at Ratio Coffee, which is a coffee shop here in Vernon. And the post I saw was this one here, three glasses of beer and them announcing that they had just gotten their liquor license and that now you could order, in addition to coffee, you could now also get a beer or a cocktail. Now, think about how weird this would be. It's especially weird in Canada. I'm not sure if it's that weird in other places, but it's really difficult to get your liquor license. And so most places are either coffee shops or pubs. They're not both. And all of the customers that have been coming into Ratio are used to ordering lattes or cappuccinos or Americanos. So this presents an interesting problem for Ratio. People are used to ordering coffee, but now you want them to start ordering beer and cocktails. How do you get them to change their behavior? So here's what happened. I saw this post and I thought to myself, I don't have a boss, I'm gonna go over and have a beer. So it's 30 seconds from my office, I walk down there and there's a lineup, there's people in front of me and behind me. Everyone's ordering coffee. And then I get up to the till and I order a beer. And immediately people were like, wait, wait you can order beer here? So I got my beer and sat down and I took a photo of it, posted it on Instagram. I also posted it on Snapchat. And in some ways I did feel weird because I'm the only person drinking a beer in this coffee shop full of people drinking coffee. But I just kind of had my beverage, was fooling around on my phone, and then I left. And after I got back to my office, Andrew, the owner, sent me this text message. Since you ordered yours, I've served seven beers. All it took was one person to start drinking. And I think this reveals an important concept for product people, especially people with a new product. And that is to get people using your product in public. We human beings are like herd animals. We follow the pack. And people are always looking for social cues that it's okay to use your product. We saw this with Apple laptops. There was a time where you wouldn't see very many MacBooks out in public. But one day, one person showed up at the coffee shop with a MacBook Pro, and then soon the whole place is just a sea of glowing Apple symbols. And we've seen this with tons of other products, as diverse as people reading Fifty Shades of Grey in public, to people using Snapchat face filters. And there's three crucial elements to this. The first is the announcement. If Ratio hadn't posted that thing on Facebook, I would have never had the thought to go to the coffee shop. And really what you're trying to do here is invite those early adopters, those people that are really excited to be first, to come and try the product or use the product. And what you're trying to do is create a unique experience for those early adopters so that they want to share it with their friends, so that they want to tell people about it. And we saw this with me too. I instantly kind of wanted to brag that I was the only one at Ratio drinking beer. And so I posted it on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Snapchat. And then the third step is you want to spread this picture of people using your product. You want to make it seem like everybody is now using it. And this is exactly what Ratio did. They posted a series of photos after that of people enjoying beer in the coffee shop. Again, helping people envision themselves sitting in the coffee shop and not just drinking a latte, but also having a pint. So this is your challenge. How can you get people to share themselves using your product in public? And maybe a better question is, how are people already sharing themselves using your product? And how could you amplify that? If you've seen this work or you have ideas, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe and like this video. That'd be great. Thanks.